Hey everybody, Bill Manning with Studio C41. I'm putting this super quick video together just to kind of explain exactly what this new Cinestill Film ECN2 kit is. If this is news to you, then um, check out the links below. I have a link that goes to my website to uh, describe and explain this new announcement. Um, so with that being said, um, this new kit, there were a lot of questions that came up about it. Uh, does it remove the Remjet layer? Uh, can you process this in uh, C41 films? And, and the answer is yes. Um, so before I get into talking about those, let me explain a couple things about the intent behind this film. So essentially, Sinistel Film had created this with keeping in mind their products. So they have 50D and 800D which is essentially a 500T with the Remjet removed. So since the 800T and 50D already have the Remjet layer removed, the idea was designing this chemistry to provide uh, uh, gammas and, and a look for motion picture with their films. Now, that does not mean that it's not designed for um, for normal motion picture film. So if you have 250D or 200T or whatever, uh, Eterna, if you still got hands on that, you can still process that film in this chemistry with the Remjet removal built into the first bath of the developer. But, and this is a very big but out of all of this, is that the chemistry at that point is considered to be a one shot. In my conversations with Sinistil Film, essentially they said that this was not necessarily intended for film that has Remjet, but it still will work with the Remjet. But the problem is, is that essentially the chemistry exhausts more quickly because the Remjet has to go somewhere and it starts to break up in that chemistry, even though it does wash out uh, when you do the washes. So they do say after the first kit, you may expect uh, shifts in your colors after that first batch. That's why they don't recommend using it because it starts to shift from whatever curves that they are trying to adhere to as far as codex motion picture standards. So that's something that you should certainly keep in mind. So the question is out of this is that should you use this kit or not? It kind of depends because we already see that there are other kits out there that have hit the shelves uh, for traditional EC into processing. You know, if, if you have bulk rolls of 250D, 500T, uh, you know, then maybe this kit is not exactly for you. Right, so there are other kits that are out on the market that address the Remjet removal specifically. So um, that is something that you're gonna have to consider. This is something that is more so to provide an ECN2 look to Cinestill films already, you know, with the Remjet removal done. All right, guys, well, with that in mind, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a hit or miss in the mark uh, by Cinestill Film? Um, I will be receiving a kit, so expect a review video very shortly as uh, I get my hands on it and actually do get to process this chemistry. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up for this quick little video. So until the next one, shoot some film. Dang it.